All right, Avengers Assemble. This episode is called Night of the End. I really don't know what that means, but I'm a little nervous and I have no idea how we're going to end this series out. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Attack on Titan Season 4, Final Season, Episode 25 or 84 total. Like I said, called the Night of the End last episode. We had so many revelations. We had some emotional roller coasters with John, Yelena, Anya Capone. We had an emotional roller coaster with Connie, Armin. We had a little bit one with Luis and Mikasa. You know, we just have a lot of shit going on. But we ultimately ended off with Connie, Annie, Reiner, Gabby, everybody. Everybody is teaming up to fight Eren, our common enemy, Magath, Peak, Hanji, Lee. Like, this is going to be insane. This is the build up. This is the peak climax of attack on titan everything's about to go down i'm uber excited for it i hope you guys are as well i can't wait any longer don't forget if you guys want to watch this episode on the full uncut version or the other shows i'm watching in the early access and full length version go check out that patreon links are down below like always make sure you guys subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel follow all the social medias instagram twitch tiktok twitter all the dapper darius much appreciated y'all let's hop into this attack on titan final season episode 25 or 84 total this one's called night of the end let's do this i am way too nervous my house will be in a prime interior neighborhood is is this a john backstory is this i mean we know initially going in to the cadets he wanted to be an interior police you know now this is like a dream right a hallucination yeah and this is how he initially got the plan for Hanji to team up with Hanji uh, and the and the four shots for the. He is dealing with a very tough decision. I'm glad he chose right. John's just trying to be done with this endless bloodshed and war. John's so sick of this. That's why Aaron decided to end it. But yes. Yes, I'll be damned. I'll literally go sent straight to hell before we justify genociding the entire world for us to live. Yes, you are. That's such a tough feeling, too. It's a lot of pressure. It's weird. I don't want to pause it because I just had this fleeting thought the other day. Um, and it's a little dark and deep and it's a little weird to think about, but I genuinely had this thought the other day because I was rewatching like a certain clip on YouTube of Marco. And remember when Marco was one of the craziest deaths and John was distraught and we found out that it was Reiner, Annie and Bert Holt that we were all so shocked about what they did to Marco and how, damn, man, this kid could have potentially, lived, you know, like, you know, who knows what could have happened, you know, but at that time we didn't know what the future held for us. So looking back on it now with future hindsight. And like I said, this sounds super dark and super crazy, but I'm almost somewhat glad some people died before having to experience some of this. Like it, it's like I said, it sounds super weird, but it's sort of like a zombie apocalypse. Like if there's a way where you can get out and know you're going out and, and, and not have to deal with the torturous lifestyle that's day by day dealing with getting eaten alive, this, that, and the other. It's just a very controversial discussion. But for some reason, I have this thought in my mind about some characters in this show about that. I don't know why I decided to tell you guys this. I just, it's, it's, it's a very unique thought and we should talk about these deep discussions, you know? I, and as she's talking about those lives who have all died, we see them back there. Ervin, Levi's squad, Mike, Petra, Hans. Oh my God. Look at these two. That's Mike and fucking Ervin right there, the goats. Oh, Marco. <laughs> yep, I was just talking about that, man. I just got goosebumps from it. John seeing these lives, too. I'm forever a scout. <laughs> Bro, that's kind of bringing me to tears just thinking about that. That's kind of crazy. Oh, that was so well done. That was so well done. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, you can cut the tension with a spoon in here. Maybe Magath will have some Gabby character development. Maybe you won't start seeing us as devils anymore. Maybe. I really have no idea. Yeah, 
Valid point. Yeah, see, let's not get into this. This is where this is where shit gets, you know. We could talk about this for an hour. Both sides are to blame. Magath does not give a shit. I also see where he's coming from. We thought of you as devils, and now the world's getting destroyed. Am I wrong? That is a valid point. It's a valid rebuttal. You guys technically made Aaron who he is right now. You want to talk history, do you? Hey, well, first off, Magath, you don't know the real history. Actually, I do, because I saw Ymir. But that was 2,000 years ago. At what point do we stop holding a grudge? You know? Gabby, you want to step in here a little bit? Yeah. I'm like Hanji. That's what I'm saying. Magath, you, I mean, I get it, but you really weren't there. Like, this current suffering is happening now. And he's asking the real questions. So, let's talk about this mission. Can it actually be done? It's crazy to think we have five of the nine titans right here in this circle. Yeah, I don't know if talk no jutsu works on Aaron. He might have a he might have a repellent for that, you know. Ooh. Guys, let's take a second back. Yeah, let's not let's not do this here. We do know they've gone head up before, and this would be a crazy ass fight, no matter how much I want to see it. But no, we got bigger fish to fry. Ah, uh, that does make sense. In terms of being someone, in terms of someone being so important to you that you do anything in the world for, I get that. It's a good reason to stop this. You captured the. Oh, Yelena. It makes sense why they took her now. Yelena is not going to be like the other per people to put their personal differences aside to, for the better good, you know? She does not give a shit. Yeah, she wants to die. Her life is over. That is a valid point. What's her background? Though an ordinary Marleyan. Really? Why? Like, Onyo Capone is actually that, but she's pretending. You built your own story. She wanted to lead an identity that's not hers. It is some Avengers fairy tale story type, you know, shit. Whispers to your heart. I kind of get what she's saying. Uh oh, history lesson. Raina Brown. Countless blood on his hands, countless lives taken with her own fists. Now, don't get me wrong, I get what Yelena is saying, but we know we've all done shitty things, you know? Armin, who's arguably one of the best people in the show, did kill hundreds and hundreds of people. Yeah, it's something that we don't want to think about, but that's what I'm saying. We've all done horrible shit. We're kind of crossing the line. Are we does are we finally gonna get that revealed right now? That it was Annie. Reiner taking responsibility for it. I mean, we've already forgiven each other and we're letting shit from the past go so much that there's... <sighs> Obviously, it's going to hurt John, but I hope nothing comes from it. Yeah. 
It is good having discussions like this, you know? And literally an open circle, open round table discussion, you know? We're already somewhat making progress. It only took a singular person destroying 7 billion people for this to happen, but at least it's happening. Oh my god, John has had enough. Is he upset the fact that Reiner was feeling sorry for himself? I've never seen John do this to someone before. God damn. Oh, with a mean gut kick to Gabby, she protected Reiner. Yeah, it's about time she said something during this meeting, honestly. She thought it would atone for their Eldian ancestral history by doing this, you know. She has her own actions and consequences that she, you know, she's also dealing with. At least she's taking responsibility for the part she played in this. She's gonna ask. Yes. Let's stop this fighting. Let's stop Aaron. And it's really important coming from Gabby because she's the one who shot Sash, Sa uh, Sasha and made so much of a divisive con you know. It is very big. Maggoth is even shocked at Gabby's development. That's what I'm saying. This is. <laughs> Meanwhile, Levi's just trying to fucking sleep. The development, and this was so needed, so tense, so sad, so rageful, so. God damn, I felt like an intervention, man. Like, I felt like a real life. I love how Pete can come out and still control the card titan as well. The port is occupied by Yeagris. I can't lie, that port looks so good. And the Azuma Bito lady. Who's being held by, let me guess, fucking flock. Doesn't shock me at all. That man looks creepy as shit. This episode was crazy. Oh my lord. Talk about an episode. Like, I've always thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed John, but he's never been like in my top five characters. But that's because he's been like one of those characters you can always rely on. He's like your anchor. You know, you never really have any issues with him. He's always just a guy you can always go to. You, you know, he's never he never is in the spotlight too much, but he's never in the in the shitty. He's never infamous. You know what I'm saying? Like he's always just that dude. You know he's there. Always got your back. Always there. But lately he's been highly elevating in terms of his, his placement for me in terms of his like top five because he is going through the ringer emotionally and in terms of his mental fortitude and he is. He's cracking a little bit in terms of places, but like that's like normal. Like he needs to crack in certain areas, you know, especially under all that pressure to not crack would be kind of crazy. But that round table discussion, him going against Magath and then expanding that into Annie and then expanding that into Reiner, expanding that into Gabby. He, I don't want to say his eyes were really opened up, but I think everyone's eyes were somewhat opened up to each other's perspectives and to just kind of what Hanji said. Like, guys, like, we're fighting low-key for some bullshit. Like, yes, this is all horrible. The suffering is going on. Nothing is invalidated. But it was all years and years and years ago. Like, as of right now, currently, what are we dealing with? Let's deal with that. As, you know, let's, let's, let's try to leave the past in the past. And I respect John for doing that when it came to the discussion about Marco and everything like that. But as soon as Reiner became self-pity Reiner, which he's done that quite a bit, you know, John kind of snapped, but then Gabby came in, reaffirmed everything. Gabby was the one, she, in my opinion, was like the fulcrum of this, because Magath knows for sure, and that's why I think he had that face at the end, because Gabby, especially at the beginning of season four, was so anti Eldian. She was like, she was literally the first one to volunteer I remember in the first episode when she had that little thing with the grenades, like she tied the grenades together. She was like, all right, best case scenario, I win us this battle and go. Worst case scenario, you lose another shitty Eldian. So what? She was the first, like, it's just crazy her development and how that ties to other people's developments because she, they know her so well. It's so well done, you know, to where John even apologized to her, you know, sorry for kicking you, you know, like, and I'm, I'm saying that particularly for John specifically, like, let's say 
it was someone else. Like Annie kicked someone. Like Annie kicked John. I don't think Annie's apologizing to fucking anyone. Like John's just a, such a nice, compassionate dude who's had so much shit happen to him that like he's a real one. John is a fucking real one. And this episode was crazy, good, tense, emotional. Every emotion you can think of under the sun, I could list it as I've had it at a certain point during this episode. So well done. I loved how I'm, I'm scrolling through the little timeline right now. Like 90% of this episode was in front of that campfire. So I'm here for it. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Follow all the social medias. Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Twitter. All at Dapper Darius. Check out that Patreon. Early access. Full length. All that jazz. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Do not genocide the world. And if something happens and you get the founding titan just remember i'm on your side leave me alive at least have a good day dapper squad